So a couple of days ago, we took a look at my failed attempt to route Super Mario 3D Land without collecting a single coin. Well, we were able to find a way to avoid almost all coins in the game. There were two coins that we were forced to collect. Two coins of shame. So I was ready to accept my defeat and to move on. But then? Then I once again got some help. I got tons and tons of comments filled with different ideas and cool game knowledge on how it may be possible to skip those final two evil coins. So I gave a couple of those ideas a try. And as it turns out, there is definitely room for improvement. So today we're going to reinvestigate the spots that gave us trouble last time. And we will find out if it may actually be possible to beat Super Mario 3D Land without touching a single coin. So are you ready? Let's do this! So before we reinvestigate the two coins that we weren't able to remove last time, let's first take a look at the one super troublesome coin we actually found a way to remove. The sneaky corridor blocking coins in 7-4. The problem here are those five shiny troublemakers that settled down in this narrow hallway. So the way we dodged them was by doing an insane amount of wall jumps to make it past the section without getting paid. This strategy is pretty slow difficult, a bit ridiculous and as a lot of you wonderful ladies and gentlemen pointed out to me, not required. So what is the other way to skip all those coins? Well as it turns out the answer to this little riddle was hidden in the speedrun of the game all along. Speedrunners actually skip this section by using a neat little trick. While wearing a tanuki leaf, Mario is able to reach this spot from here. All that we have to do is to jump off of the platform the moment it starts to move because then we get a tiny speed boost that together with a wall jump gives us just enough speed and height to land on the platform. Skipping the nasty coin this way is way faster and easier. Though we don't use enough awesome wall jumps this way, if you ask me. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the doorway coins in 5-2. The problem here is this coin in this hallway. This dumb coin's hitbox just completely fills the entryway and makes it impossible to proceed into the second part of the stage. Jumping over the coin is not possible here because the doorway is way too low. And waddling past the coin is also impossible because... Well, because of the coin. There's just no way to make it through here without picking up this stupid coin. Or at least I was convinced that there is no way for us to make it past the section coinless. But as it turns out, there is a small glimmer of hope. YouTube user Nathaniel Strupp left me a comment with a picture of him after dodging the evil hallway coin, alongside of a description of how he did it. He managed to dodge all three coins by lining Mario perfectly and by doing a roll long jump. So in his comment he called this trick extremely precise and after about 6 hours of trying to replicate the trick, I'd like to add an over the top ultra super desperately and very in front of the extremely precise. Holy fuzzy, seriously how? I tried to replicate this trick over and over again for hours. I literally hit Mario's head into this corner thousands of times and it pains me to say it, but I'm completely unable to reproduce the trick. I didn't even make any progress over the hours I tried this. Nothing. Either I painfully rammed Mario into the corner or I even more painfully rolled directly into the coin and was forced to eat it. Out of the hundreds of tries to dodge this worst coin of the year contender, I only ended up dodging it once and I still have no idea why why or how. There isn't enough room to roll past this coin, but for some strange reason our favorite plumber still rolled past this coin during this attempt. This wouldn't have been a coinless hallway since we definitely would have picked up the second coin here if I hadn't picked it up earlier, but nonetheless we dodged a coin here. This happened after about half an hour of coin avoiding and even though I grinded this spot for many many more hours, I wasn't able to replicate whatever happened here either. It pains me to say it, but there is a chance that there is an over the top ultra super desperate and very extremely precise trick possible to skip the coin that I simply can't replicate. If any one of you wonderful ladies and gentlemen somehow manages to record a way to dodge this coin, please, please, please let me know about it. For now, I sadly can't say with absolute certainty that dodging this coin is possible. However, it doesn't really matter, because as it turns out, there's something else in the game which definitely allows us to dodge Mr. Super Douchebag Coin. It's the P-Wing. If Mario dies 10 times in a stage, then a magical P-Wing item appears that well, that just simply teleports Mario directly in front of the flagpole. Yep. The P-Wing allows us to end 5-2 without a single coin. It's not pretty and it's kind of cheating. But to be honest, call me a cheater. That's fine. As long as I don't have to pick up this dumb coin, I'm happy. This removes one of the two evil coins we previously had no way to skip. And it means that if we find a way to avoid the stupid beetle coin at the end of 5-5, then the game is officially beatable coinless. This coin is where stuff becomes really interesting. 
So the problem here is the following. Each enemy punishes us with shiny yet dumb coins. When we jump onto it, ground pound it into the ground or defeat it with a tail swipe. The only way to safely kill an enemy is by throwing a fire flower fireball towards it. Because then the enemy drops its inner coin somewhere into the world. We need to defeat this beetle thingy at the end of the stage here because if we don't, it transforms into an evil coin as soon as we end the level. And we also have to hit the top of the flagpole because if we touch this famous flagpole at any other spot, we get coined as well. Since the problem is at the very end of the level, using another P-Wing to teleport to the end of the stage doesn't help here. What this means is that we have to find a way to get rid of this enemy while still hitting the top of the flagpole. We actually found a way to get rid of all enemies but the final one, by positioning ourselves at the edge of this platform and by sniping the evil beetle-like creatures that are actually called Beedy Butts. The final Beedy Butt is at least so far away from the platform that the fireballs always despawn before we hit it. Last time we sadly weren't able to find a way to solve this problem. That's the second forest coin. And this is where this becomes interesting. So I got literally hundreds of comments with really cool ideas on how it may actually be possible to remove the final evil coin in the game. And a lot of those ideas were really, really good. So over the last days, I tried tons of different strategies. I tried to damage boost Whirl up there, to switch to the acorn suit mid-air, to jump off the platform a bit so that Fireball doesn't despawn, and lots of other different strategies. And after tons of testing, I sadly have to say that there wasn't a single solution to avoid this coin among your ideas. There also weren't two solutions. Because, as it turns out, there are actually three completely different strategies to get rid of this stupid final coin. Ladies and gentlemen, as it turns out, it is possible to beat Super Mario 3D Land without touching a single coin. Here's how. So huge thanks to YouTube user EpicProdigy99. He not only found a way to skip this coin and managed to record how he did it, but his solution is also the one out of the three ways to avoid the coin that has by far the most swag. So here's the clip of him ending the stage coinless. He basically did an incredibly precise long jump from the beginning of the section towards the flagpole and managed not only to shoot the sneaky coin carrying beetle, but to actually hit the top of the flagpole as well. So before someone asks me how I was able to miss such an awful obvious solution like long jumping from here towards the end, I didn't. I actually tried this. And here is what happens when I try to do this long jump. Mario dies. So check this out. Here we have two clips of Mario about to long jump into his doom. In the right clip we are going to long jump straight off the platform. In the left clip we long jump off the platform side instead of its front. Just check out what happens. Yep. As it turns out, the horizontal acceleration of long jumps isn't kept in the game. If Mario moves into a direction that isn't in front of him while long jumping, then he never stops to accelerate. If he jumps straight forward, however, then there is a cap on how much speed he's able to build up. Epic Prodigy 99 used this little quirk in order to just build up enough speed to perfectly land on top of the pole after shooting the beetle. It took me a couple of tries, but I was able to replicate the trick and in my opinion, this is the best way to dodge the final coin. It's the fastest and most important importantly, that by far best looking coin skip. But this is only the first out of three different solutions to this problem. So previously we took a look at whether it is possible to first long jump and then to switch into a tanuki leaf mid jump, which is impossible. But as it turns out, that was a pretty good line of thought, we just happened to do it the wrong way around. Huge thanks to YouTube user LPMX, he managed to think a bit outside of the box and to turn the fire flower into tanuki idea onto its head, which gives us the second way to avoid the nasty coin. Here's the clip of how he did it. He jumped off the platform as Tanuki Mario, flew close to the pole, released the fire flower mid-air, then switched outfit close to the beetle, killed it and managed to land on top of the flag. Hooray! But we're still not done on our journey to completely embarrass this final dumb coin, because there is one final way to dodge it. This one was discovered by Cosmic. For those not familiar with Cosmic, he's a speedrunner of the game and currently placed second in the any percent category of the game. Though he probably is better known for being the first human to ever record a run of the original Super Mario Bros with a time below 4 minutes and 56 seconds. He's a legendary Mario speedrunner. So what did Cosmic do to dodge this coin? Did he use some insane speedrunning techniques? Had he some secret knowledge to get rid of coin carrying beetles? Did he wrong warp past the level? Well, let's take a look at the clip he sent me. He just long jumped towards the beetle and killed it. 
Whoops, as it turns out, that's possible. It's not even that precise. To be completely honest here, that I missed this solution for this beetle, still kinda bugs me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. Super Mario 3D Land is officially routed coinless. Hooray! Huge and gigantic thanks to everyone who helped removing those final two nasty coins. You guys actually managed to find four solutions on how to dodge two coins. Huge thanks to the awesome 3D Land speedrunning community, especially Cosmic, for taking the time to look into our little coin problem, and King Boo, who was kind enough to send me a summary of a couple of neat speedrunning tricks in the game. There are a couple of links down in the description for anyone who wants to see some insane Mario gameplay including Cosmic's legendary world record run and the link to the current world record of 3D Land. For anyone who hasn't seen this run, I highly recommend checking it out. 3D Land is an amazing speed game. Also, as it turns out, I wasn't the only one working on 3D Land coinless over the last couple of weeks. Our brother in spirit, Nico Barbecue, also looked into all the shiny yet deadly coins in the game and made an excellent video about his journey to beat 3D Land with as little coins as possible. It's really interesting to see which coins gave him the most trouble and what strategies he came up with. The link to his video is in the description. Alright, now we finally know the true answer. So the next time someone asks you why it is not possible to beat Super Mario 3D Land without touching a single coin, tell them, see if it's spreading lies. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and maybe feel especially like unnecessarily jumping in between walls today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope that all of you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye!